Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we're playing with the United States. Uh, so we had the vote um, in the last episode on what we should do with uh, Venezuela over here, whether we should puppet them or just uh, conquer them and, and force a change of their government uh, to a democracy. So the, the, the vote ended up being really, really close, uh, but the puppeting did win by one. Um, I didn't vote myself. I, I would, of course, would have voted for just making them a democracy, um, but there's I only vote if there's a tie. Obviously, voting now would be pointless because it just put it into a tie and we'd be at a stalemate. And we wouldn't have we know what to do. So <laughs> we're we're gonna go ahead and uh, puppet Venezuela if we can. Uh, remember, I thought I could have swore democracies could not puppet. Uh, we do have the puppet focus though, so I don't know if that's gonna affect it. We got that binational focus, uh, but yeah, normally you can't can't puppet as a democracy. So we'll we'll see what happens, guys. Um, yeah, it might not even be. I I know know that a lot of people normally like annex uh, Venezuela. So uh, we'll just see what happens here, guys. We're gonna go ahead and, and get this started. Uh, we got this uh, almost done planning. 52 to 70 days. We do have the claim now, though. So 18 more days. We're going to declare war. But before we um, you know unpause the game, we want to get our army or our navy, excuse me, uh, over there to provide some support, because we're not gonna be able to provide any air support. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get them moving on over to this uh, sea region here. I think that this is where, yeah, they should be able to get the support there. Uh, and yeah, once the, the fleet gets there, which they'll, I don't know how long it's gonna take them. They might get there. We're gonna slow this down just a bit here, because I don't wanna go blown past it. Uh, and we do have construction as well. Let's go ahead and uh, get the excavation three. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be able to build our uh, factories a lot faster, which is awesome. Um, what do we have outdated? Just the battleships? Yeah, just the battleships. Remember, that, uh, somebody mentioned this in the comments, uh, the reason why we're, we're still building those outdated battleships is because uh, we don't have the, uh, what is this going on? Oh, this is the, uh, the howitzers here. Uh, is because we gotta finish up that, that battleship, battleship we're currently building. Uh, you know what? Hmm, we could just use the planes from our, uh, yeah, I don't know. I forgot we had carriers. Of course we got carriers. I never have carriers in my Let's Plays. Uh, yeah, we got carriers, so we could use, although it seems we don't have very much close air support here. Um, and yeah, it does seem that they don't have enough planes either. Okay, so we might want to uh, change this up a little bit. Um, it looks like the Ranger here does have some room capacity for close air support, and I think we're gonna go, go ahead and increase that a bit. Uh, probably up to maybe like 25 here. Yeah, let's do 25 planes uh, for the uh, close air support. Let's unset that. Uh, and then we're also going to go ahead and get, what, what, what is gonna be left on here? Okay, so let's go ahead and set the limit here for 10 of those bombers, and then we're gonna go uh, maybe like, you know what, I think we can go 15 and 15, that'd be 30. Yeah, we could go 15 and 15, we'll do that. Let's go ahead and set these limits here uh, so that they can get their planes, uh, but most importantly, get those close air support so that we'll have some support. Uh, it's not gonna be much, guys. It's really not gonna be a lot. Uh, what do we got going over here? It looks like 28 and 28, that's exactly. Okay, so yeah, these are. this is the, the normal uh, build. I don't usually have the um, close air support on my, um, on my uh, carriers, I usually just uh, stick to the fighters and naval bombers uh, because you usually have some kind of bases that you can use. Uh, but in this case, uh, we don't, so that's that's awesome. So we'll have to wait for them to get those planes before we're able to use them. Uh, we did get the M1 Thompson, so we're gonna wanna go ahead and change that up. Uh, you know what, we're gonna do that now. Uh, before I forget, so let's go ahead and get the, the new Thompsons here. Uh, if we get any more factories, let's, let's go ahead and have it go towards the infantry equipment because we are kind of falling behind on that. Uh, and we need to get a nice stockpile of it going. Uh, what are we working on here? I don't wanna get these because we're going to get some research bonuses for those. Uh, could, of course, get the uh, uh, the Brownings, which would uh, increase uh, quite a few things, um, you know, the defense and the breakthrough. We also haven't gotten the support companies yet, something that we're going to want to do. Uh, I'm just trying to swing through. We need the medium tanks. Just see what all we need. We need a lot, guys. Quite a few things. Also need the upgrades to the anti-tanks. Still getting these as well. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we need right now, just going through these. Uh, but we do have the industry pretty much done, so that's awesome. Uh, I think what we're gonna go ahead and do, since we're about to go into battle right now, uh, and the only one that's really gonna benefit us right now, other than going towards the land doctrines, is to go ahead and get the, the Browning. So I think we're gonna go ahead and do that. So research that, all right, excellent. Uh, because uh, that, that'll help us immediately as we go to war with these guys here. Um, and are we ready yet? Let me just kind of swing over this here. Uh, no, we are not ready. We still have 14 days, uh, which is good because this is going to let us get our, our planes. And we got the howitzers. Man, we're just getting all these texts all at the same time here. Uh, so let's get, uh, do we want the mediums? I'm, I'm really tempted to go ahead and get the, 
uh, the medium tanks now, now so that we can start building those and get them producing. I think we are going to. Yeah, let's go and get the medium tanks, guys. Get the Lees. Uh, but yeah, we're nine nine days out here. Uh, did we get our planes? Uh, they're they look like they we're getting some of them. We're still waiting on closed air support. We must be short on closed air support or something like that. What is going on there? Why are they not? Um, why are we not getting more? Hmm, not entirely sure. I could have swore we had some closed air support, don't we? Yeah, we have closed air support. I'm not entirely sure where they're not. They're not coming over here, helping out. Yeah, they're, they're yellow. Oh, are we at the limit? No, we're not at the limit. 44 or 55 planes here. Yeah, because this would be, yeah. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why the uh, close air support's not um, coming in here. All right, well, nothing to be done about it. Um, I, yeah, I don't know why that is, uh, but we're going to go ahead and get into this war. Um, I think it's about time. Uh, so we're going to need to assign them um, over here to this air region. We're going to go ahead and put the fighters over there too, I suppose. Okay, you guys all go into this air region uh, and then get them doing their missions. Uh, Cause yeah, I don't think I don't, I'm pretty sure naval bombers can't can't do any in, any missions here. I'm just gonna double check here, uh, but I'm pretty positive they yeah they don't they could do port strike, but they don't have any they don't have a fleet, so it's irrelevant. Uh, let's go ahead and do air superiority and close air support. All right, excellent. So uh, this should give us a little bit of help. I mean, 14 bombers is not a lot, guys. It's not not gonna help out much. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and launch this. Let's get the war started. They're working on military youth right now. Uh, so we're going to do the puppet focus. Let's go ahead and send that. The United States has declared war on Venezuela. Uh, and they have one division over here. All right, guys. So let's let's go ahead and launch our invasion. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's not perfect. Uh, luckily, we do have this commando, which, as you guys can see, is drastically affecting it. 10% over here for these guys who are not under command of the general. 4% for these guys. So, yeah, it is definitely helping us out here. Uh, and it seems that because our fleet's not actually assigned to this area, uh, we can't launch the invasion. Well, let's go ahead and do something about that. We're going to go ahead and assign this fleet. Um, we're bringing in our entire navy, our entire Ant Atlantic navy over here here to deal with Venezuela. So let's go ahead and do a search and deploy, or search and destroy, excuse me, uh, into the Caribbean. And yeah, that should allow us to do it here in a second. Uh, should be able to launch this invasion. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Let's go ahead and launch it, guys. Okay, so, um, oh, whoa, what's going on? Germany has declared war on Luxembourg. Okay. Um, following the breakout of war, Fran and it looks like they're at war with France as well. I didn't even know that um, this was going to happen right now. All right, so it looks like World War II is breaking out at the same time as our Venezuelan War. Okay, interesting. Uh, it looks like maybe France was, uh, I don't know, guaranteeing Luxembourg? I don't really know how they got called in that war. Uh, but yeah, World War II has begun, guys. Uh, the UK is not currently in the war just yet. It's uh, just... France and Luxembourg. Uh, they're not going to have an Eastern Front war over here. They didn't attack Poland, uh, which we see all too often, it seems, now these days. Uh, but you know what? If they can get uh, France wrapped up first, then that can sometimes result in uh, being very beneficial for them, uh, the AI anyways, because uh, they have a lot of issues with those two front wars. So we'll have to keep our eye on that, um, make sure that we pay attention to what's going on over there. And it seems that, um, oh, that's why, because uh, I'm don't. i not building any carrier-capable Close air support. Okay, that makes perfect sense. I didn't realize I wasn't building those. Uh, do we want to build them? I mean, I suppose we can build a few. Um, we're not gonna put a whole bunch of factories towards them. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll build a couple of them, I guess, uh, as we get factories. And it's not gonna help us out in this war. Not that we really needed the air support anyway. I mean, we're talking about, uh, I mean, 20, 25 uh, close air support planes are not not really going to help that much, guys. Uh, they would have helped a little bit, but it's it's not not enough for me to... And we wouldn't be able to get them into the war anyways. So yeah, Belgium and Italy. Italy had joined the Axis. Belgium had joined the Allies uh, because Germany just declared war on them. We are going to win this. And the Netherlands has joined the Allies as well as Germany is just declaring war on all of those countries. Uh, let's go and slow this down. We are at war here. All right, so we are sitting at 97. We're going to we're going to win this, uh, and we will get ourselves a nice port here. We have 10 divisions. We're going to be sending the other ones in as well. Let's get them going now, uh, and we're, we're going to go ahead and just uh, throw them into this army, I suppose. Yeah, uh, and get them onto that line. And I guess we're going to. We're gonna let the AI control it. There's no reason to manually control this uh, because I mean this is not gonna be a difficult uh, attack guys So let's just go ahead and wrap around here. They don't have they don't have too many divisions So this should be easy enough. I don't even think we need to let's just pull this back some I don't even need to take all this territory. Just go like this, please You know, what? we could probably even just go to the river uh, now that I'm thinking about it 
Ah, uh, whatever. It's fine. Go ahead and take all that territory, please. Uh, and we're gonna we're gonna execute that. Might as well. Go ahead and take all that. Uh, should be easy enough. We do have some free military factories. Three of them. Wow, okay, must have got a bunch done at the same time. Uh, we got the infantry equipment going. Uh, I feel pretty confident with how many uh, uh, factories we have going towards that. Let's go into support as well. Uh, and then we're gonna put one into the motorized, get that built up some. And what else do we have here? Oh, the light self-propelled artillery twos. Let's get those uh, going as well. Uh, let's go with, yeah, we'll, we'll put it right under the stewards here. Let's get them moved on up, please. All right, excellent. And these guys have to move down to the bottom. All right, so we've got those building up now. Uh, we, we obviously aren't using those in our models yet. I haven't really uh, designed those. We don't really have any army experience. That's, that's the reason why. Uh, so I think they're attacking us right now. So it means that we're not really able to do anything at this moment. Uh, gotta finish up with this defense here. Yeah, they're attacking us on all sides here. Uh, but they are very, very weak. So we probably shouldn't have any issues here. And I believe we should be getting naval support in all these areas as well. Uh, we also have our fleet, or the, our other 15 uh, troops coming on over here now uh yeah they should be coming inland there we go excellent uh so we should be able to move through this very very quickly shouldn't have any problems we can go ahead and get some air support here because why not let's just fucking win this quicker why would we not want to do that uh let's put uh, i guess we're gonna get some fighters and some yeah we'll get some of these hawks because i don't see any of the other other planes yeah okay uh we'll put yet like you know air wing of, of the oh, are they over here you know what they are over here my bad, that's why I don't see any of them. Let's just go ahead and move uh, both of those air wings on over to here and get them assigned uh, to kind of help out over here. Just make this this entire invasion a little bit quicker. Uh, but yeah, Venezuela should be wrapped up very soon. Uh, these guys are done training. Let's just go ahead and stop that, pull one of them out. We'll leave the other one there so that as we get uh, these troops trained up, because we're tr currently training up uh, quite a few divisions here. We got six more infantry divisions coming, uh, and then, you know, you know, we're going to just deploy, I think, this entire uh, line here. Yeah, let's just go ahead and deploy. Well, let's, hmm, you know what, let's add, like, some more divisions here. Go like, and then we'll deploy all the ones that are currently ready to. Uh, they're they're just waiting on some equipment. There's no reason to not have them training up here, guys. No reason at all. Let's just pause this for a second because I'm not paying attention to our Venezuelan war. Uh, and then we're gonna need to pull these guys out, and then get them training again. Excellent. Uh, let's swing on back over to Venezuela. It seems we have more factories. Okay. Uh, we should probably assign uh, some some of these extras here. Let's just go like this. All right. So I think that will work out nicely. We are running a little bit low on rubber over here. Uh, do we want to trade for that? I, I suppose we'll go ahead and trade for that not, now. Might as well. Because the problem is only going to get worse. So might as well fix that. Uh, the phone is ringing uh, in the room. That is not my phone, though. I don't think that's... I think that's... Uh, Jinx's other phone. She has she has two phones. Um, er Earnhardt wants to enlist as American mobile. I think that's supposed to be as America mobilizes for war. We have received an unusual request. Amelia Earnhardt, the famous aviator who successfully circumvented the globe not long ago, wishes to enlist in the Army Corps as a, pi a fighter pilot. She has demonstrated considerable skill in most dogfights, but there are many within the military establishment who frown on the ideal of having a woman flying combat missions. Should we make an exception in her case and let her join? Yes, yes, we need her. Uh, people had said that, that she was gonna show up as an ace when she survives. I hadn't actually seen that myself. Um, so yeah, that's really, really cool. Uh, we're gonna go in and get her put into, she's gonna be helping lead the, these fighters here. Uh, oh, I thought I clicked on, oh, I clicked on the wrong button. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get her in there. Uh, it looks like she's, you know, got some good stats here. Let's go ahead and put her in there. And she's gonna help out uh, with the, uh, you know, trying to defeat the also powerful uh, Venezuelan Air Force of zero planes. <laughs> Not this, so we really don't need her there, but I'm gonna let her fly, get her some experience. They, they don't even get experience, guys. Uh, we're doing it anyway, though. Uh, I wish they had taken, is he moving over there? Yes, he is. All right, excellent. So yeah, just advancing really quickly here, just seeing how many troops they have, 14 to 18, not much. Uh, should be able to defeat them with these divisions that we have here. Uh, it does look like they are supplied all right, though. Well, some of them are, Never mind. Okay, there are quite a few that are lacking equipment over here. Okay, so yeah, that's just going to make it even easier for us to uh, take this territory here. Uh, let's just get these guys advancing wherever uh, they currently can. What are you guys doing? Why don't you guys come this way as well? Um, and whoever's moving over towards 
this way. Let's see, maybe this guy? Yes. Go ahead and you you attack over there as well. The Netherlands has already capitulated. Just swing on over to uh, Europe over here and see what's going on. Germany has already conquered the Netherlands. Um, they, they're they having trouble with Luxembourg. Luxembourg is a tough nut to crack. They're so difficult with their one province uh, to get them to capitulate. Uh, <laughs> and then look at this. Look at Germany go. They've already broken through the Maginot Line. Uh, Belgium just about conquered. France is going to be done for soon because they have that national uh, unity of 60%. That's actually a little bit higher than usual. Uh, so, okay, they are going to have to conquer a bit more of their country than usual. But as you can see, Italy is invading over here. Belgium has now capitulated as well. Uh, France is done for. Wow. That's it's a wrap, guys. Okay, uh, we cannot hop into this war just yet ourselves. Uh, we can't join their faction yet uh, because we are just not at the the limit yet. Uh, we need to be at 100% world tension. We're only at 66%. So we cannot join the allies uh, just yet and help them out in this war because France is about to be defeated like momentarily while we're over here fucking around in Venezuela. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty crazy. All right, so we have finished up over here. Uh, it looks like we can uh, puppet them because it was the focus. I think that's why you can you can do that. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I was just looking at the files, guys, and I'm almost positive it says democracies can't puppet. So I, I want to say that this is because we have the puppet focus that we're allowed to do it, uh, which makes sense. You should be able to, you know, make little uh, exceptions to the rule. All right, so because of the vote, we're going to go ahead and uh, puppet at these guys uh, let's go ahead and end our turn and we are done that does mean let me just stop this real quick and the federal republic of venezuela has been puppeted all right so yeah they're a democracy now uh let's go ahead and get our, our units uh going back home uh there's no reason for all of them i did not realize that i sent all those divisions over there one of these guys was supposed to stay here <laughs> okay uh, let's get them all going to the port all right guys get on over there uh we're gonna go ahead and uh take you know we can actually get rid of the the air orders over here. Uh, yeah, and then we're going to put our fleet back. Um, do not need them out here uh, any longer. Uh, and now we're going to be focusing on getting ready for the real uh, conflict, guys. Uh, which will, I don't know when we're going to be able to get into it. So let's go ahead and stop the Atlantic fleet over here as well. Absolutely no reason for them to, uh, you know, continue uh, patrolling that area. Not right now. We're not at war. Don't need to do it. Uh, and then we're going to make sure that we get one of these divisions back on over here to Puerto Rico. Uh, I would like to have one over there. I mean, I think it'd be fine just to have one. Um, and I don't know which one it was. I don't think it matters. Uh, whichever one has the lowest strength and least experience, I suppose. Let's just grab, well, we'll grab this guy up because he doesn't have any experience. Uh, and then he will be pulled out of the division. And then we're going to, uh, make sure he goes back to Puerto Rico. All right, we need somebody stationed there. Uh, we don't we don't actually need somebody stationed there, but it's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and bring these guys back home. Uh, we're going to put them onto the East Coast somewhere. Uh, they can come on over to Boston because, or, or Philadelphia. Go to Philadelphia. Uh, that's actually where I grew up, guys, Philadelphia. Um, I spent many, many years. I, I kind of moved all over the country. I have been a, uh, uh, you know, a roamer. Um, a nomad, as I like to call it. I uh, just lived everywhere around this country. And uh, yeah, I, I did grow up in Philadelphia, though. Spent, spent a lot of time there. I was born in New York, New York State, uh, not New York City. Um, I was in, in Orange County. A lot of people, when they hear Orange County, they, they don't like to think of California. But in New York, we have an Orange County as well. Uh, Luxembourg has capitulated that very, very tough and one of the most difficult uh, European countries um, to defeat has, has now capitulated. So you know that Germany is doing very, very well right now. Look at this. Look at them push through France. Yeah, this is... This is, uh, I don't know, it's kind of kind of worrisome how <laughs> well Germany's doing. Every time we tick them up by two two points, they do amazingly well, and we have a fantastic challenge. So I'm actually really looking forward to this uh, fighting Germany. They're gonna be they're gonna be difficult. I don't know where how exactly we're gonna do it just yet. Could launch naval invasions, of course. The AI does doesn't handle that well. We're gonna need a very large army to be able to get a naval invasion launched um, because Germany's not really. They're gonna have their entire army uh, over here in Europe. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be, you know, a bit more challenging without, I would prefer to have just a front that we can launch off of, um, but I don't really see, I can't really think of any other countries that they, they might attack Denmark, but they'll be wrapped up very quickly, uh, probably not going to be Sweden, yeah, Poland doesn't have any ports that we can land in, yeah, I mean, over here in the Balkans, maybe, if they start, if, like, Italy starts attacking countries in the Balkans, then maybe we'll be able to have a, a, a location that we can invade Germany from, I don't know, we'll just have to see what happens, guys, uh, so we just got the, uh, 
I have no idea what we just got, actually. Uh, I think it was, the, yeah, the giant wakes. So that's a changing our, our law to uh, the civilian economy, you know, which will help with our, our factory construction speed. We're going to get more civilian factories, which is always excellent. So uh, what do we want to work on next? Could work on War Plan Black if we want to try and get into this war here. I think this is exactly what we're going to do, guys. We, we are going to go for War Plan Black. I want to get into this war as soon as possible. Um, obviously, we're not going to be landing troops in. I mean, I might... You know, if we got in before France had capitulated, no, there'd be no point. Uh, it'd just end up being a disaster for us. We'd get on the front, and then, uh, you know, Germany would defeat France, and then we would be completely surrounded, and we'd have to rush to a port. Yeah, I don't I don't think we'll be going into France. Uh, we'll just see what happens, I suppose, but I highly doubt. They're going to be defeated very, very soon. Um, so, it looks like Indian National Congress triumphs in provincial elections. Okay. Um, all right, it appears that Indians have rejected the more radical policies advocated by Gandhi, who had argued for a total break with Britain and absolute home rule as soon as possible. So India, it looks like they're going to be staying uh, in the Commonwealth, which is very, very good. Uh, India is India's the only one I think I've ever seen leave the Commonwealth for the AI. So it's one of those ones that you definitely have to, to worry about here. So we now have uh, Venezuela as a puppet here. So we have two puppets, I believe, now. Yeah, it looks like they are both at, at 500. Uh, we'd have to start, like, building in their, their lands and stuff if we wanted to kind of start ticking that down to annex them, which we're going to have to do something to do that, or else they're, they're just going to both break free. Um, and that, that, you know, because as they fight in the war, if we let them, I guess we could just not let them come into the war. Uh, the fall of Paris. The German Reich army seems unstoppable. It does. It really does. So France will capitulate very soon. Uh, now that Paris has, there it goes. France has capitulated. Uh, Germany won that war amazingly quick. France, that was... That was a bit pathetic, actually. That was a very, very bad showing, France. Uh, so yeah, France has been defeated now, uh, and it's it's basically just the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth uh, currently standing against against Germany. Let's see what happens next. Just see what national focus they're working on. Naval air effort over here. Uh, second Vienna award for Germany. United Kingdom limited rearmament. Okay, it probably shouldn't be limited, my friends. Uh, Anti-fascist diplomacy in the Soviet Union, so we're already seeing it kind of ramp up between uh, the Axis powers and the Soviet Union. However, uh, they don't have a, a shared border yet because Poland, uh, Poland, because Poland has not been uh, attacked yet. But maybe that we might see that happen soon, though. Uh, they're working on the Baltic Alliance now. So we might actually see Latvia and Estonia uh, join that Polish faction. The birth of the Franco-British Union. Facing defeat in France, the French and British governments have decided to join their two nations as one until victory over Germany has been assured. A new joint government is being formed in London, with Edward VIII remaining as the head of state. In an issued declaration of union, the new joint war cabinet stated France and Great Britain shall no longer be two nations, but one Franco-British Union. The constitution of the union will provide for joint organs of defense, foreign, financial, and economic policies. Every citizen of France or Britain will enjoy immediate citizenship of the other state. The French must be desperate. I don't think I've ever seen this event. I, I've never seen this event before. I, I, or maybe I have and I just clicked through it so damn quick. Uh, but yeah, that's that's interesting. There's a uh, Franco-British Union. They've been their their country has been renamed. I'm guessing that that's a uh, a cosmetic name there. Yeah, I don't I don't never seen that before. That's really cool. Is that I don't know if that's new, guys. Um, the flight of Rudolf Hess. Okay, uh, I don't know if that's a new event or if I just happen to never see it because France had never been conquered that quick. Maybe it has to do with how quickly France was conquered. I have no idea. But if you guys seen that before, I, I would love to hear hear about it because that's that's new to me. That's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, they're now they're no longer the United Kingdom. We have to get used to calling them the Franco-British Union. All right, uh, so uh, that's that's one of the things I, I love about this game. I guess we can go back up to speed five because, frankly, we're not really uh, doing anything at this moment now. Uh, just waiting for that national focus so that we can go to war with Germany. Uh, but, yeah, one of the things I love about this game, guys, is how uh, everything is, uh, you know, it, there's a lot of problems with the games. I mean, there, there certainly is. I'm not going to say that there's, I'm not going to, you know, as I said before, I'm not going to apologize for, for uh, you know, Paradox. They have a lot of issues. But one thing I do love about this game is just how much uh, variety you'll see in the campaigns. Every campaign feels different. Uh, let's, uh, what are we not doing? Oh, we don't have the factories down here for any of our planes. Did we lose factories? What's going on? I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Um, okay, well, we'll have to get that fixed because obviously we do want those planes to be building up over there. Uh, oh, maybe it was, okay, that's where I got those three factories from. I conquered them from Venezuela, and then I went and assigned them over here. I'm a dummy. All right, well, let's, let's get that fixed. Uh, we're going to pull from... I, I suppose we're going to pull from the infantry equipment. Well, we actually need a lot of reinforcements for that. Never mind. Uh, we will pull from uh, artillery. Sure, why not? Uh, and then also the motorized. We'll pull from that as well. 
and how many more do we need let me double check on this it looks like we need two more factories uh, i guess we'll pull from uh we're gonna pull from the support equipment there okay excellent i think that that'll work with the one more from improved artillery all right so let's go ahead and assign this dockyard uh we're gonna put it into i really want to get this battleship done uh since it's older model so let's get that that ba battleship uh built up and are in, no, these guys are, these guys are gonna take a while. I don't know. Why I keep checking that. Uh, second Vienna Award has been uh, uh, done, finished up, and now the Hungarians have joined the Axis powers. I thought they had already done that, huh? Okay, I guess they hadn't. I don't know why I thought they had. Who joined them then? I could have swore there was somebody else who joined their faction here. Uh, well, it was uh, maybe it was Slovakia. Hmm, yeah, could have been, I suppose. Uh, let's go ahead and get, we just built a factory after I just uh, reassigned all these. Uh, let's go ahead and put that back into artillery then, I suppose. All right, excellent. So, uh, yeah, things are, are going uh, very poorly for the Allies right now. Um, we have the treaty here. It looks like uh, Romania has been forced to give more lands to Bulgaria of little concern. Okay, uh, and then we have a uh, free dockyard as well. Let's go and get this assigned real quick. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and put it into the, the battleship just because I really want to get that battleship uh, finished up there. Uh, that does mean we're, we're, one, we're short three chromium right now. Uh, I don't know if, what are we working on? I think we're currently working on excavation. So maybe that might help with that. And we did just get those support weapons that didn't help us in the, the war with Venezuela. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's fine. Uh, what we're going to do next is go for some support companies, I think. I think that's what we should get. Yeah, let's get some more support companies. Uh, I want to get the Field Hospital 2s. I love Field Hospitals. Uh, go ahead and get those researched up here. Anything else I need to be aware of up at the top. Uh, I know that we're producing several things that don't have a template yet. Uh, we just don't have enough experience to really uh, uh, do anything with the templates. Uh, advanced machine tools. I think we should have some national focuses that will get us some uh, army experience, uh, which would be incredibly useful considering the fact that you know I, I can't get any. Uh, while we're sitting at peace right now, so I think what we're going to end up doing is we're going to go for naval doctrines. You know, the first conflicts that we get in are going to be naval uh, battles. So I think it'd be best to get our navy as good as possible. Uh, we, I think we're going to put into uh, destroyers and light cruisers. Um, yeah, because we already kind of moved down this one a little bit. So let's go and get those improve improve those a bit and do we want to go ahead and start dealing with our fleet well the episode's almost over all right we're going to do that in the next episode uh we're going to keep we'll, we'll go a couple more minutes here uh as i i try and get the war plan black here um and yeah what what this what this one does here is this will uh just decrease our opinion but most importantly allows us to go further down this uh line here and we can get the limited intervention which will give us more manpower uh, and also allows us to send volunteers. I kind of feel like we should get that next. I was going to do Embargo Germany so we can move down this branch, uh, but you know what? I would really like to be able to send volunteers to be able to help out in some form or fashion. So we're going to go ahead and deal with these things here, guys. We're, we're still getting two more dockyards, uh, and we have, I'm guessing, probably, I don't know if that's one or two that we can assign right now. Uh, I think what we're going to do is get more military factories now. Obviously, the military factory situation is not, not excellent. We're not, we, we definitely improve upon that. So let's, let's build in Texas, since that's where our troops are anyways. Uh, let's put uh, one into California as well. That's, that's a total of three. Let's get one over here in Georgia and one right there in North Carolina. North Carolina was actually where I was uh, stationed in the Army for most of my time in. I was in North Carolina for over two years at Fort Bragg. Um, yeah, it was a, it was an interesting location. Uh, and, you know, outside there we have uh, Fayetteville or Vietnam, as we like to call it. Uh, and I really didn't like Fayetteville um, very much. Uh, I think we're going to put this into... Um, hmm. Okay, I'm really tempted to just keep doing into this battleship uh, because I want to get it built really badly. Uh, yeah, I think, I think we're gonna do the battleship. Let's get the battleship finished up here. Okay, excellent. Uh, but yeah, I, I didn't really like, uh, oh, we, yeah, we did have, oh, we got a bunch of dockyards. Okay, we must have built a bunch at the same time. Okay, so we're gonna put one more into there to get that done in six and a half months here. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and put one more into the, I think we might stop building these, in fact, the light cruisers. Yeah, because we're not even research. You know what? Why don't we just invest in, yeah, let's, let's not get any more light cruisers. You know what? I'm fine with that. Let's get rid of those. Uh, and, and we didn't lose a lot of production on those. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and put this into destroyers. Let's, let's put this into the light cruisers, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, oh, we got one more. I didn't, I didn't realize that. Okay, well, we'll, get, we'll put this one in the battleship so we can get them done a little bit sooner. All right, excellent. Uh, but yeah, I guess we're going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. Uh, like I was saying, though, about Fayetteville, I, I, did, I did not like Fayetteville, Vietnam. I was not a big fan of that. Out, You know, a lot of military towns suck, but not all of them. There, there are several military towns that are awesome. Uh, 
Uh, but yeah, I didn't like Fayetteville. Uh, but Fort Fort Bragg was an awesome base for the most part. Uh, though you do a lot of running there. I don't know if you guys like running. I can't stand fucking running. Uh, but yeah, you do a lot of running because that's where it's the the base of the Airborne. Um, even though that's not where Airborne School is, that's really where all the Airborne units are. You need 80 seconds there. Uh, and then also we have the Special Forces. Uh, in Fort Bragg, which is really, really cool because we get to work with them a lot, uh, like Robin Sage, uh, which was a really, really cool event. I'll tell you guys about sometime when we're not ending the episode. Uh, but yeah, it was a really fun event, and I loved working with the Special Forces. I wasn't Special Forces, but, uh, but yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. Uh, next episode, we should be jumping into this war. I don't see why we win it. Um, I guess we got to get world tension up to 100%, really, before we can join the Allies. Uh, so there's that, and we're also working towards, you know, these, these uh, national focuses that might let us get in there. I would not be surprised if World Tension got up to 100%, uh, where we could just join the Allies uh, before we even got these all these uh, national focuses that allow us to hop in the war. Though we still probably will want to get some of these. Uh, the Destroyers for bases is an interesting one. Though I was I was thinking United Kingdom had that one, but apparently we have that. I don't know why I was thinking. Maybe they both do. I don't know. Maybe I was just confused. Uh, but yeah, this is getting those those islands in the Caribbean um, for some some destroyers. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead and uh, end the episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We defeated Venezuela. Um, it was a tough, long, difficult fight, but we did it. But yeah, and then like I said, the next, next episode um, should be uh, joining into World War II, or at least our Navy will. Uh, we're going to have to, at the beginning of the next episode, we're going to start getting the Navy uh, ready. We need to get them built into uh, specifically this Pacific Fleet. That's specifically the Pacific Fleet. That's difficult to say. Uh, we need to get them, them broken up into uh, several fleets here uh, and start getting them moved over to the Pacific to fight Japan, though Japan is not currently in the war just yet. Yeah, they're not even in the... They are sending volunteers, uh, but they're not involved in that yet. So we'll have to see if... What are they working on? What national focus? Let me just check here. Southern expansion. Okay. We'll just have to see what happens with Japan. Uh, you know, if they don't join the war immediately, it would not be a bad thing. It would allow us to concentrate over here on the European theater. So that wouldn't be a bad thing. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and finish up here, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please leave a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. And thanks for watching.